Hello, hello everybody. This is a pick a card reading for your month ahead. This could be for the month ahead right now as you're watching this, however many years down the future, or if you need it right now. So month ahead, specifically the month ahead would be coming for May, so this would be for May. But also it could be if you're watching this in October, then it could be the month ahead for November. However, you need to look at that specifically. I know I've been gone for a hot minute. I'm very sorry. It's one of those things where things just got just kept piling on top of each other and I couldn't really uh, film, didn't have the time to, things like that. So I'm going to be filming back again. So if you've never done a pick a card reading, uh, I'm really fond of doing the pictures and word association, things like that right now based on your intuition. So you can pause the video, it's perfectly fine, but just choose whichever pile it is that you are the most drawn to based on the picture or the words, combination thereof, however you need to see that. So over here we have pile number one with standstill, number 52. Pile number two with lightning, number 30. Pile number three with flow, number 20. And pile number four with completion and number nine. So it just depends on if there's a specific number you were drawn to, a specific pile based on the picture, or even the word itself. Whichever one is the kind of screaming at you the most is gonna be the forecast, if you will, for your month ahead going to be rolling the numbers and letters per usual as well and I'm even going to be doing uh, bringing back in my pendulum too so we're going to be doing a yes or no maybe type of situation at the end of each reading specifically there's quite a few cards so I'm going to stop flapping my jaw and then we're going to get to the readings as usual starting with pile number one hey pile number one if this is one that you picked based on the picture or the word standstill or even 52 was kind of screaming at you a little bit, this is gonna be your monthly forecast. So like I said, there's quite a few cards to get through. We're gonna be starting with the tarot as usual, and we'll see what pops up for you. So the first one we have here is the Sun of Pentacles. For this card deck specifically, the Sun is the Knight. The next one we have is the Devil. The Son of Cups, or the Knight of Cups. Ten of Swords, and the Mother and or the Queen of Wands. So the very first card right off the bat that is jumping at me is the Son of Pentacles. I feel the reason for that is because a lot of you are maybe, maybe a lot of you are kind of beating yourself up over a little bit of certain things. You're kind of uh, feeling like, you know, this would have been different if I had done this or this, the outcome would have been different. So the Son of Pentacles, the, the Knight of Pentacles pops up when um, you're needing to feel a little bit more confident within yourself, things like that as well. So May, uh, in, in terms of this month coming up with May, or the month coming up for you when at the time you're watching this could just be taking a little bit more time for yourself. With the Devil, and the Son of Cups, definitely a lot more of that emotions, being driven, being headstrong. I feel like this is that being driven and headstrong because kind of the start of it a little bit is things are needing to stop, things are ending. Your coming month is going to be a lot about things coming to a close, whether that is dealing with a situation that wasn't good for you in the beginning or wasn't good for you to start with. And so you're just making that progression. I really feel like this is quite the progression as well. The Ten of Swords being everything is just finally done and over with. Over here with the Devil, we have that feeling of trapped, chained down type of situation. Your anxiety kind of kicking in a little bit with that, you know, maybe things would have been different, but obviously it's something that you always can or you cannot always control. Being a little bit more emotional with yourself, being a little bit more emotionally forgiving. And then the Mother of Wands. So I love this card. It doesn't matter what deck it's in. I love this card because she is such a badass. It doesn't matter what your gender is or anything like that. The, the, the determination, the headstrong, willpower uh, type of attitude is what comes from the Mother or the Queen of Wands. Very bold. Very headstrong. Just everything, like I said, just very much like I want to do exactly what I want to do because this is the right move for me. So potentially for a lot of you, it's that movement towards what's right for you. The next one we have here is a, a time to give rather than take. 
new moon in Virgo. So I feel like because the Virgo is in terms of the cards for Hermit, things like that as well. So I really feel like that is definitely something for you guys too. Definitely a lot about um, giving yourself a little bit more time. Potentially it also because the Virgo is kind of like that person who's dedicated to other people. So maybe it could also be redirecting your willpower or however you want to look at that. Redirecting where you need to put your... Um, your progress and uh, your the word servitude is coming up and not necessarily like you're not in chains or anything with that devil speci specifically it's putting your efforts where you want them to go so it's a combination of the devil and the mother of wands a little bit with saying this is where you want to go this is what you need to do that type of situation uh, a, a time to give rather than take so a lot of times um, this could also be pertaining to like another person because the new moon is all about, you know, new beginnings essentially. So I really feel like this is, God, this one is just, it, it's really just, like I said, a lot about the, just forgiving yourself is really what's kind of screaming at me, which is fitting. I should have put this one up here first because the card that you picked was standstill. I'm just going to pop that up here. So stand still, a lot of that is definitely kind of coming up for that. A lot of that is definitely what I'm feeling for you specifically for the coming month. A lot about reevaluating in a good way exactly what it is that you're wanting, what you're wanting to do, and also with who. So the next one we have is Jack-O-Lantern. This light will guide you on your journey and show you the way. You were led by tradition and good luck is on your side. So this could pop up with that um, that feeling of needing to do something for yourself, you know? Because a lot of times, too, that, that definitely happens. We get so caught up in our own emotions or whatever it is, or we get caught up in other people's emotions that there is not that ebb and that flow. We kind of stuck in our ways, however you want to look at that. So I feel the the coming month for you is going to be reevaluating what you've been doing in order to redirect it towards whatever it is you're wanting to do. Maybe that could be that standstill, that hermit mode. Some of you potentially are my, you know, actual Virgos in your uh, sun, moon, or rising. So there definitely could be a lot about that redirecting your energy to go towards what it is you're wanting. Um, this card also, uh, I designed it a little bit with the um, like the will-o'-wisp a little bit with like kind of getting lost and led astray with the uh, jack-o'-lantern it's more towards like being directed towards what you need to do so uh, whether that is gearing up for your next big project or uh, kind of saving your energy in order to move or whatever it is you're wanting to do I feel like there's a lot of movement happening there's a lot of cycles that are ending this coming month in order to like i said redirect things for what you're wanting to do this is going to be the biggest section here because there's four of these so the first one is home and i absolutely am in love with this card because other than the fact that there's an owl there's a clock all kinds of just like this big old tree essentially i absolutely love this card Home is talking about exactly that, making your home, making exactly what it is that you want to happen, happen. Whether that is, like I said, redirecting your energy to, you know, kind of um, envelop that mother of wands energy with doing what's right for yourself, putting yourself forward, uh, putting yourself first a little bit more compared to this with, you know, exactly that, making a home for yourself, whether that's physically packing up and moving or whether that is uh, staying where you are because you know that's where you want to be. So I feel like a lot of that is going to be a lot of not change in a bad way because change can definitely be a good thing but I feel like that's going to be a lot about moving a lot of movement but also movement towards your new home in a way. The next one we have is metamorphosis. Like I said that progression towards yourself 
here basically everything in this picture has a butterfly wing <laughs> even the flamingos their their wings are actual butterfly wings so there's definitely a lot about that change that transformation metamorphosis exactly that so here we have these you know these two flamingos and then they're just this kind of direct energy over here here is a little bit different and here's a little bit different and i feel like this is like two sides to the same coin type of situation so for a lot of you this coming month is going to be that metamorphosis it's going to be that finding that home ending that toxic negative situation that you were in in order to find this moment in order to find this kind of makes me think a little bit of a relationship i think it's just good you know the, the the two birds but oh that's interesting this one's 25 that one's 27 so there's definitely two and five <laughs> is gonna be pretty important for you I think um which is pretty great because two obviously it could be the relationship and five is the the month coming up is the time that I'm filming this so I feel like a lot of you is going to be that metamorphosis that change that new direction however you want to look at that with the person that you are potentially trying to build that home with that new life with the next one is rock bottom number 10. this one automatically makes me think of the ten of swords you've hit rock bottom you potentially could feel like uh now this doesn't mean physically rock bottom like here we have two different paths and it's kind of like this alice in wonderland moment where everything is the same all the way around so i feel like a lot of this is that end of a cycle you feel like you're at rock bottom right now whether that's emotionally or mentally or physically however you want to look at that however that fits for you but i feel a lot of this is outright this is what you've done for yourself this is what you've needed to do for yourself and a lot of times too people hit rock bottom in whatever way that that pertains to their lives and their situation they feel like they hit rock bottom and then they get that momentum, they get that drive and dedication to claw, claw their way out. So here it's like, you know, this path here, this over here, this is kind of a path, this is kind of a path, like everything has its own path essentially. And I feel like that's gonna be you, is finding your path compared to where you are right now. Being determined, dedicated, headstrong in the ways that you want to become. Next one you have is the Bone Collector. The Bone Collector with number one. This one really makes me think of the Wheel of Fortune a little bit, especially because there's this little clock here and things like that. So this does make me think of the Wheel of Fortune and also a little bit of the, uh, what am I saying? Like with your, um, like your guides and your spirits and ancestors and things like that kind of helping you along the way because that, I really feel like that also helps with these paths, this like, pathway image here too because you're really in that headspace of like I said you know kind of beating yourself up over it with the son of pentacles like I can't do it I'm not going to make it I'm not going to be successful what if this happens what if that happens but with the wheel of fortune and things like that with the uh, ancestral guide with your spirit guides however you want to look at that they're going to help you and they are also going to make sure you understand that while things feel like they're kind of, you know, you feel like you're running a rat race a little bit, you're not going to be alone. They're not going to leave you alone. They're going to help you along the way. They're going to help you grow. They're going to help things get better in whatever way that they need to, especially because as in terms of the Wheel of Fortune, things will not, you know, you can try to turn the wheel as much as you can. You can try to force it, but until you hit all of the necessary requirements within that little space, it's you're not gonna go anywhere. So you can hit here, all these little necessary steps before you get to the next one. And I feel like that really does play into a lot of that, you know, like, like I said, those cycles ending, things progressing, you moving forward with the next step of your life because right now you're exactly that. You're at this next step to your life. You may not feel like it, but you are the animal spirit i love it this is the one that's going to be with you over the next coming month with the deer spirit bring a gentle touch this i feel is directed towards yourself especially because like i said with that son of pentacles with that 
need for yourself, that need to not beat yourself up over it when things don't go exactly how you planned it, however you want to look at that. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is outright that whole um, mentality of being kinder towards yourself, being a little bit more understanding with yourself, even though you tried your hardest to make sure that things went a, you know, one way versus the other, there are still times that things don't 100% go exactly as planned because unfortunately sometimes that does happen. So when things don't go exactly as planned, weirdly enough, it's still part of the plan. I feel like your ancestors, guides, spirits, uh, however you want to see that, however it fits for your situation and your beliefs, angels, however you want to look at that, I feel like they are really trying to let you know that they are on your side. They're trying to help you find the right path for you specifically. So two acknowledgements basically for your coming month. We have 14. Find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. And we have another thing that looks basically like a clock. So this is really making me think about the, or the Wheel of Fortune, uh, like just finding that, you know, that soul tribe. I feel like there's been a lot of things flooding social media le recently about, you know, oh, this person is part of my soul tribe or this group of people is my soul tribe, etc. So really finding these people that you have a connection with and really letting that help you along your way too. The next one is number 37 with you decided to wake up or else why did you draw me? So this one cause in for... Um, like that mentality of like be more gentle within yourself, things like that too. Um, this is that dedication that I was talking about. This is that mother of wands or queen of wands energy with that you decided to make this step. You chose this, even if it's that next wheel on, this, on the, the wheel of fortune, if you will. Even if you feel like you're not ready, usually you are. You're never going to be, you know, ready. That never happens. That, that's um, kind of a fanciful way of thinking you are ready when you feel terrified <laughs> as as terrible as that sounds that's kind of how the universe and our guides and ancestors work because they know that you're going to be paying attention that you're that type of person who you make decisions carefully you make decisions based on what's best for you and you're going to start doing that in this coming month. So this is definitely like you know, that whole, why did you draw me as far as like, you know, this card specifically, it's a wake up call. Basically, you are being called to wake up. You are being called to understand precisely what it is that you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to be, who you're wanting to be. There's definitely a lot of that popping up for this. So the next one we have here is emotional challenges resolve the issue. And again, this does make me think of like big bird or butterfly, uh, big bird, like big wings or something like that. So like a butterfly's wings or something like that. So a lot about that challenges. So they're emotional challenges, like I said, and that happens when you like, when you end a cycle, when you end toxicity, when things are kind of ending and you're growing and changing into the person that you are genuinely meant to be, a lot of times that's terrifying. It's scary. It's not something that we particularly want to do uh, willingly. Um, so I feel like that is something that is happening for you. It's definitely a thing of change. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's also something too about you specifically this is really about you this is about growth and overcoming those emotional challenges in order to become who you are meant to become whether that is uh you know being with this one particular person or more than one person however you need to fit with that but like i said i feel like this is a progression towards the next chapter of your life the next one we have here and these cards are very similar actually wow okay Gracious receptivity. So receptivity, I really feel like is geared towards the, um, how do I say this? Geared towards like, you know, re re receiving the messages from your guides, ancestors, spirit guides, however you want to look at that. But also I feel it pops in with 
um, accepting help when you need it, especially if there is a partner involved or anything like that, accepting that someone is trying to help you in one way or another, even though it may not feel like it, even though it feels scary or whatever it is, there is someone who genuinely is trying to help you. And even if that's on the spirit realm, then working on that is definitely going to be something for you as well. Your last card that I draw, I will draw from another deck as well. Your imaginary friend, childhood treasures, oh goodness, childhood treasures resurface. So this one does make me think a little bit, kind of with that gracious receptivity and emotional challenges. I feel like there is um, that call, and there was something that I saw the other day online about how a lot of times when you're stepping up, you're ending toxic cycles, you're doing things for yourself, it's because you're finding that rekindled love for things you did as a child. So for a lot of the times when we keep growing as people, a lot of the things that bring us joy was something that we stopped doing a while ago because, you know, being an adult, but then we started doing other things that gave us uh, not as much joy. We backtracked to stuff that made us happier when we were younger, whatever it was, even if it's something as simple as painting or reading, because sometimes we get so caught up in being an adult. So I feel like you're going to next coming months definitely have a uh, rekindlement, a receptivity moment, um, a reception moment, basically, about something popping up for you, your life, things are going to kind of just lift you up, basically. I think there's going to be a lot about um, you coming to, you co coming full circle is something that's kind of yelling at me right now. Things coming full circle. Okay, and then we're going to be uh, from the Pocket Isis Oracle as well and seeing what we can get for that one. And then, like I said, drawing um, or rolling, I suppose, some uh, letters and numbers and then doing a pendulum at the end too. So, going to be seeing what pops up for group number one the month ahead. If there's anything specific that they need to hear, see, feel, however that needs to work for them. Oops. That actually popped out fairly quickly. Okay, so the two cards you got, I was actually going to draw two, and that's lovely that two popped out fairly easily. So the first one is Lunar Queen and says, there is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles of rest and replenishment as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. Metamorphosis, gracious receptivity, even the standstill was the actual uh, card right off the bat that you chose based on what you were drawn to. So I feel like that really comes into play as well. I feel like that one's actually fairly self-explanatory. And then we have here, Temple of Carnelian. It is time to trust in your own boldness and courage, taking risks that feel true to your heart and engaging in practices that make you feel truly and genuinely alive, embodied, and more of yourself, even if not always comfortable, are going to help you live the life you were born to live. This is all about transformation, y'all. This is straight up transformation doing what you need to do. I feel like that one very boldly does help embody the um, the energy of uh, the mother of wands or the queen of wands. Like I was saying with that direct energy that this is what I need to do for myself, basically. All right, so then we're going to be doing the letters and see what pops up. Oops, if there's anything that pops up specifically letter-wise. This could be an acronym or your initials. It could be initials. If this is potentially about partnership and a relationship, things like that, then maybe you will see your partner or partner's initials in here as well. It just depends on how that goes. Alrighty. So wait, there's a Y, there's a P, there's two G's, which is interesting. I do see egg. <laughs> 
I don't know why I see egg right off the bat, but or eggs. So maybe that could be something that you guys can do this coming month is do like an egg cleanse or something like that. There are loads of videos all over the place on how to read them. Um, there are, you can literally just Google egg cleansing uh, translation or however, and it will pop up for how to read it, um, things like that. I've only done a couple of them in my life, so I'm definitely not an expert in that field, but it, I feel like that could be something too, because egg cleanses are not always about automatically, um, you know, trying to remove negativity or anything like that, or trying to find if someone's trying to jinx you or curse you. Sometimes it's just like feeling that there's negativity and just wanting it gone. Like there's a little bit left, especially because if there's that ending to that toxic cycle in order to progress to that metamorphosis stage, then there's going to be some residual uh, crap, basically, that's hanging around, unfortunately. So then I'm going to get these guys out, maybe, essentially. There we go. And we're going to be moving over to the other side of the camera here and rolling some dice, the white dice. If you've never done any of my readings, are gonna be for um, like just good luck, things like that. Something that's gonna be significant for you and things are gonna be changing up in a good way. One, four, and four, okay. So these numbers could be specific to uh, any one specific date like coming up in the next month or anything like that it could be you know add up to a number in this case nine that you end up seeing a lot or whatever that is it just depends on how that pertains to you sometimes it also is I've rolled people's birthdays a lot or anniversaries or whatever it is that could also be something too so then the black dice are going to be something something isn't working for you especially because you got the ten of swords and the devil cards like something isn't working something needs to change this could be the day that that decides to do it now that doesn't mean dread that day because a lot of the times the reason something is ending is because it wasn't that strong to begin with or it's not good for you we have one again and then we have five and six so there's definitely a progression with four five and six so that could be definitely something significant. I do love when there are progressions because it really shows that growth. Like I said, that growth change metamorphosis is something very intense for you guys. So I really do love that. So I'm feeling that that's going to be something happening for you in the next coming month. The red dice, even though these always look orange on camera, are going to be something more love-based, something specific. It doesn't always have to involve another person or partners. It could also just be for you, the, the time that you decide to love yourself or anything like that. Something like that, something love. I've also had it before where this is like someone got their dream job that they were absolutely in love with and it, this was the, the date it rolled, basically. So it just depends on anything that pertains to love. Usually these do represent romance. Beautiful, four, five, and six. <laughs> so there is a progression right off the bat that does make me think that a lot of this coming month is going to be that progression. And it really does make me think that the progression is going to be with another person, which is always a good thing. So. Lucky dice, this could be, again, something very specific with one specific thing, or it could be um, anything about uh, just like one specific number that you might see repeatedly or anything like that too. So this could also just mean that number is going to be especially lucky for you in the coming month. And it stayed on a one. Okay. So I feel like that's going to be, uh, like I said, especially because this was... Um, a little bit of a relationship, but also a little bit of you as well, falling into patterns that are going to be better for you in the long run. And then for the pendulum, so for this, I want you guys to really just think about whatever it is that is just sticking out in your mind, yes, no, maybe type of answer, but I really want you guys to just really concentrate for a hot minute and see what will pop up. See if I can do this without it being too wonky of a frame. What can we get for group number one, 
with their situation coming up for the next month. Ooh, that's going. Okay. So it's swinging with a gentle yes. And the reason I do say specifically a gentle yes is because I feel like there's a lot of that energy of being more gentle with yourself over the coming month. Understanding that you yourself, even though you're working on being the best you, however you need to look at that, you also have to understand that being gentle with yourself in the long run is going to just help these things progress even further in a good way. So definitely a lot about transformation happening for you guys in the coming month, group number one. And until next time, y'all, this is what I have for you. Know yourself and know your power. Bye. Hey, group two, this is one that you picked based on number 30, the image itself, or because of the word lightning, then this is going to be your month ahead type of forecast reading, things like that. So there's quite a few cards to get through. Like I said, I'm going to be drawing from my uh, pocket Isis Oracle as well. So a little card at the end, we're going to do the dice as usual, and then the pendulum too. So there's kind of a lot to get through, but like I said, it's going to be a monthly forecast as well too. But starting with the lightning, I really feel like this is going to be something for you guys that's just really drawing you in, really striking things at the heart, basically. This kind of like this really just bold drive towards the center. And I feel like that's going to be you guys coming up in the next month. It's going to be really being headstrong and determined and really fighting for what it is that you're wanting to achieve. So the first card that we have is the Father of Swords, but reversed. And I feel the Father of Swords in reverse is because um, this coming month could be a learning curve for uh, like being uh, analytical or maybe you're being too analytical, depending on how that works for you. Uh, so I feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be a growth thing as well, especially because the next one we have is the star. I love when I get the star card for myself or for clients, whatever. I feel like this is popping up for you because a lot of what's happening is specifically that. This is light and hope at the end of the tunnel, especially because that does fit because you did get the lightning thing. Like I said, that very bold strike. The next one you got is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords pops up when you're feeling a little insecure or that the situations, decisions, and things that you're making, you feel like you might not have made the best decision or something like that. And that could be where that star card comes into play is light and hope at the end of the tunnel. Like I said, probably um, overanalyzing things a little bit too much in the coming month and maybe needing to back off a little bit and be a little bit more kind to yourself. The next one we have is the Five of Swords. Now, I do like this card, even though it is a little intense for <laughs> this deck specifically, but in terms of actual biology, when it comes to worms, even if you, you know, I, I actually never seen this in person, but supposedly, if you cut a worm in half, that it'll just like, it basically like you have a brother now or so, or whatever. So even though the fear of betrayal and things like that are happening, you're still going to be um, happening, basically. You're still going to be positive. Things are still going to grow and change and evolve the way that it, it needs to, which is also a good thing, too. I'm going to bring that down a hot minute and scoot that. So even though you feel like that fear of betrayal is going to overpower you or whatever like that, maybe that's why you're second-guessing your responses and answers to things, it could be that this is a bit of a good thing. It's kind of like, you know, that, um, that, you know, that light and hope at the end of the tunnel while you're having anxiety because of all of this, whatever happening, you're still going to be resilient enough and you're still going to drive forward. You're still going to have that star and lightning hope moment, hope moment, especially because the last one we got is judgment. I absolutely love this card as well, because judgment is talking about rebirth, renewal, things happening, things growing and changing, flourishing, any other uh, <laughs> one of those that you can potentially think of. That's pretty much what that is. And I do love that for that reason. It's talking about rebirth. Here we have like all of this black that kind of just graduates up into the white and things are happening. Things are changing, growing 
and flourishing. Next one we have here is a time for healing with Basamic Moon. So I feel like this is going to be that healing moment for you specifically, really um, changing things up a little bit for you, really understanding that the next coming month is going to be the healing, especially because we have the Eight and the Five of Swords. So that point of, uh, you know, here we have this butterfly hanging from this one sword, but all these other surrounding, it's kind of like you can come out of it fairly easily. Even though you might not get out of the situation completely unscathed, it might hurt, whatever that is, but it's also going to be something where you do have the star and the judgment. So there's going to be that light and hope at the end of the tunnel. You are going to be reborn. Lightning will strike, if you will. That healing is going to blossom you specifically into this person you need to become. I feel like this is going to be a moment that's going to be pretty big for you. The next one we have is the tombstone. Now is the time to rest and recharge, take care of yourself, and learn to release stress and burdens that serve you no purpose. I feel like that could be definitely... Um, kind of calling out some of y'all very directly with that one. So I feel like a lot of you are going to need to kind of put to rest things that are not important anymore. Um, things that are things that aren't for you is something that I keep hearing. So a lot of it's potentially some of you are maybe that's that fear of betrayal or the fear that it won't work is because you aren't used to making decisions or something like that. So maybe that's that putting time to rest and healing from that as well, because it's just that need to recharge and things like that as well. Oops. Okay. So this is kind of the bigger section of the reading because there's quite a few cards here. So the first one is movement. Here we have this big old ostrich with this tiny little building. I think it's actually, yeah, it's a, a little windmill. So winds of change <laughs> is something that pops up when I see this card. So definitely things happening, growing, changing movement in just specifically. And I do love that as well because you do have the um, judgment card. So there's, like I said, that movement, that flourish, flourishing energy, that energy about just changing, just the winds of change, something that just keeps yelling at me. We have magic prayer for the next one. So this one, I feel like it's also very curious because this one and this one are two away from your lightning. So potentially you're going to have a little bit more of a connection within yourself. Um, that moment of connection to really grow and become the person that you're meant to become essentially magic prayer can be also like you know, actual prayer if you um, pray it doesn't matter who you pray to just prayer in general and it can also mean manifestation too manifesting the life and the dream that you are wishing to achieve the next one we have is education education could come in the form of being an actual scholar essentially like going to school being a student things like that as well or it could also be um a little bit about educating yourself on certain things, whether that is uh, educating yourself on you, like understanding being a little bit more gentle within yourself, or being um, educated in the things that are around you. So education could also come into play if you're needing to pick up and move to a new place, if you feel antsy or whatever it is, maybe that's that fear that it won't work that's kind of beating you in the head a little bit. But when it comes down to it, that determination and dedication to do what you know is right for you and learning about that and growing with that decision is definitely going to be something for you in the long run. The next one we have is commitment. I love this. I'm going to put this one right over here. That's pretty perfect actually. So I feel like this is going to be a lot of that exactly. Committing to yourself. Now commitment doesn't always have to be with another person, but it definitely can be because there's a rainbow and flipping love hearts all over this card. So I feel a lot of it is going to be that understanding between you and a person, you and another partner, you and partners, however it fits your situation. So I feel like this could definitely be um, that growth, that movement, things happening. Maybe that's the light and hope at the end of the tunnel with the star. Maybe that's the decision-making process that's making you so antsy. 
a lot of people recently are coming into a little bit of a different awakening, not necessarily a spiritual awakening in terms of, you know, spiritual awakenings, but a lot of people are kind of hitting like a mini awakening in a way where they're really growing into more of themselves. They're really stepping into that power space within themselves. That way they're making better decisions for them. Because sometimes too, it's not always the case. You make decisions for other people because you're worried about them. Yourself gets put on the back burner. So I feel like this is going to be maybe that healing moment of healing yourself from the crap in your past in order for things to really change for your future. The animal spirit watching over you is the crow spirit with co-create with spirit. This one I feel like is popping up because the crow, the crow create, co-create with spirit. I feel like is going to be that movement and change for you, that movement and change for whatever it is that you need to do in terms of just you right now, basically. Um, Especially because, like I was saying with the the magic prayer and things, like, I feel like this is going to be a lot about, like, your guides and things coming in and being like, hey, um... Here's what you need to do. It's literally right here. While it may not seem super obvious at first, or maybe it's just kind of scary because you've potentially never done that before or whatever it is, it's definitely going to be something like that in in the future. So the crow spirit is also something too that um, crows in general, there's kind of like that joke that floats around the internet about uh, crows collect shiny things and, you know, they collect just a bunch of junk all the time. Maybe that is something that can help you heal. Maybe not necessarily collecting junk and becoming a hoarder, but just finding something that you're able to do that makes your inner child happy, basically. Two affirmations that can help you along the coming month is coming soon. Welcome to the next ascending age. What did I say? (laughs) A lot about things changing, growing, moving. Just drop the card. Definitely things are happening and like I said, just that movement, that that need to change, things are happening, uh, things are just really being super exciting, I feel like. The next one is, your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. I love this because, I thought it was a lighthouse at first up here, but it's a little windmill, but I love that because it's talking about like that movement and just guiding, changing, things growing, Especially because you did get commitment and things like that as well. So I feel like that could definitely be a thing for you coming up in this coming month is that commitment to yourself and potentially to another person as well, which is not a bad thing. People kind of freak out when they hear that. Actually, I'm going to put you over here. I want you to be a little bit more highlighted. There we go. Ooh, goodness. I love this card. This is just gorgeous, period. Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. The inner harmony part is making me think a lot about that healing, that time for healing, that, you know, like I was saying with the education for yourself, understanding yourself, understanding where you come from, uh, things like that, potentially shadow work, therapy, however you want to look at that. So I really feel like that's going to be potential for you coming up in the next month. The next one is awakened awareness. Awakened awareness does make me think outright about that magic prayer a little bit there with the um, judgment card and things. So there's definitely that movement happening for yourself. There's definitely a lot happening for growth and things as well. A lot of healing is going to be coming up for you too. Like just that potentially starting like a meditation thing or something like that for you. That way you can really understand your emotions and things like that. Maybe do a little shadow work or therapy or something. Um, if you already are, then just keep at it type of situation. And this card is the mermaid and the turtle and elder will teach you. So I feel like this one, oops, is going to be a lot about, um, while it's for, you know, yourself, I feel like it could definitely be a lot about just you. Uh, like I said, like a lot of you, a lot of like, you know, an elder will teach you type of situation because it's going to be that ooh, that maybe that could be where the education comes into play too. There's going to be that moment of not being alone. You might feel like you're alone for whatever reason. However it is that's driving you crazy. 
but I feel like there's definitely going to be that point that you will realize that you aren't alone. There's going to be someone that's helping you along the way. So then we have the Pocket Isis Oracle, and we'll see what pops up for group number two. And the coming month, I just dropped half the deck. That's not helpful. So I'm <laughs> going to try and see if I can get a couple of cards. Only two, please. And what will pop up for group number two, the coming month? Will they need to hear or anything like that? Just heard you've got this. So I feel like a lot of you need to understand that you do have this. This is, while it's a little scary or anything like that, you do have the ability and the strength and things like that as well to overcome the difficulty that is making decisions sometimes. So these are your two cards. The first one here is Mother of Life. When life seems dry, depleted, filled with red... Bleh. <laughs> filled with repetitive tasks or simply stagnant and stifled, Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances in your life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave, open your arms, and receive. I really do love this because it's talking about that, that need for, like I said, with that kind of just like that whole energy about like your guides and things being with you, things like that as well. So I really feel like that's going to be popping up for you is you're going to be able to hear that a little bit more, I think. Here is the last one. High Priestess, a mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. And I feel like that really does go towards like that movement and things like that as well. While it might be a little scary, it's definitely something that your guides are trying to help you along the way. And then we'll see here with some letters. And it could be an acronym, it could be initials, outright spell someone's name, which I've had before. So we'll see what pops up. Ooh, almost all of them. <laughs> so we have A and E. Are there any repeating letters? There are no repeating letters. That might be a first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I sometimes drive people crazy because I don't put these in order, I'm sorry. I really don't want to sing the ABCs because I am that ADHD person where I cannot fun function like that, so I'm sorry. I see go right off the bat, just go movement that does help a lot with that as well. So there's definitely a situation like that. I. I can see someone's name in there, but I also can't at the same time. I do see AJ and RJ right off the bat. So that could be your name, could be, again, potential partner or your partner that you're with right now, however you need to look at that. Do, do, do. If I can get these out, there we go. So then with these dice, then the white dice are going to help represent anything that's going to be significant in your life, something that's kind of good luck or however you need to see that as well. All right, so we got two, five, and five. Very interesting, because at the time I'm filming this, this is definitely May, so potentially May 7th or something like that. The black dice are going to be something that needs to end. Something isn't working for you. Something just needs to be tweaked up a little bit. This does not necessarily mean that uh, anything is... You know, like you have to dread this day or anything like that. Sometimes too, it's just something that just needs to happen. Like I said, your guides are with you. They're trying to show you the steps you need to take. Two, two, and three. So there's definitely like, you know, the repeating numbers and then the one oddball. And then with the red dice, even though these always look orange on camera, <laughs> these are going to be something that represents usually romance, but it could also be like the day that you decide to give yourself a little bit more love or something like that too. So it could be self-love as well, but generally it is more romance-based. 
Oh, okay. Finally broke the cycle with the repeating numbers. We got 1, 4, and 5. So, I'm again, sometimes that could also roll like a birthday or something like that too. Um, definitely just depends. And we're going to be rolling the lucky dice to see if there's any one specific repeating number potential or something like that too. This also has rolled people's birthdays as well, of course. But we'll see if there's anything significant for the one nice one dice. Okay. That did roll a four. I do want to roll it one more time just because that did hit that, but we'll see. If it hits a four, then I'll obviously leave it all on. <laughs> oh, it hits a three. Okay. So we'll take three and four just because sometimes, you know, back to back numbers are significant for that. So four is stability, three is asking for help. Three is understanding that there is that power, that mind, body, spirit type of moment. Four is talking about the movement and the stability within that as well. So I feel like with both of those, um, that could definitely be that change, that growth and things like that as well. So then with the pendulum, just go ahead and concentrate for a hot minute on whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Again, of course, this could be a yes or no type of answer, maybe potentially, but there's anything specific. Let's see if I can do this over here. There we go. Try to do it to where you can actually see it on camera. <laughs> but what can we get for those thinking for the coming month for group number two? These people concentrating right now and thinking what is something that pops up for them? Can we get an answer for them? the coming month okay it's a yes so whatever it is that you were worried about it's probably not going to be as crazy as you thought it was that was also swinging at a more of a gentle pace and the reason I do specify that is because there is that need for being a little bit more gentle within yourself as well and this is what I have for you guys group number two there's definitely going to be a couple of bumps in the road coming this coming month, but it's definitely going to be a lot easier to get over it. Just don't psychoanalyze yourself too hard, okay? Until next time, y'all, know yourself and know your power. Bye. Hello, group number three. This is the one that you picked because group number three, the number 20, the image or the word flow, then this is going to be your month ahead, basically forecast. I'm going to be doing a, a card at the end of the video as well for um, just another extra card basically for added insights, doing the dice as usual, and then of course the pendulum at the end as well. So there could definitely be something like that. And I really wanna just talk about the flow card for a hot minute, because I feel like this is gonna be something about that flow of energy, whether that's you know expanding your own energy to understand yourself a little bit more, or potentially flowing your energy towards another project or someone else, however it needs to fit for your situation. We'll start with the tarot. The first one we have here is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords generally pops up a lot of the times when, um, usually I read it uh, geared towards like the person specifically, so it could be you feeling like you're needing to hide or run away from something, however that fits. The next one is the Father of Cups. This is the King of Cups for this specific uh, deck. The King of Cups definitely pops up when like that need to understand or the the need to well yeah the need to understand emotions for yourself but also understanding the importance of that as well because sometimes too we get so caught up in things that we are maybe a little less empathetic or sympathetic towards other people and their situation too so sometimes uh, understanding that a little bit more can help you. Maybe that's something that you feel like you're running away from is your own emotions too. The next one we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a very interesting card to me because it definitely talks about that that struggle, that you know, weight on your back, things like that as well. But it also talks about you've worked so hard for whatever it is that you have achieved already that the continuation that it needs to happen in order for things to keep moving forward is definitely something that you need to recognize as well. A lot of times we get so you know caught up in whatever it is that we're doing that 
you know, we kind of just like ignore everything around us. So potentially the next coming month is that flow, learning where your energy is and kind of redirecting it towards where you want it to go, potentially. We still have two more cards. We have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is a need for a new perspective. Something is changing and growing. Something is flowing in a direction that is just different from whatever it is that you're used to. The last card you have is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is is that um, kind of like that hype up card a little bit. Like you know, you like I said, you've worked your butt off for whatever it is that you've achieved, and it's that recognition of that. So a lot of the time. Um, I feel like this is a little bit of a progression here, like that recognizing the work that you've done yourself, recognizing the hard work that you've put in. For some of you, this is going to be emotional. So this could be therapy and things like that as well. Learning about yourself in whatever way that you need to. I feel like the reason that you feel like the need to hide is because it's that fear of showing yourself to someone else. It's that fear that they're going to run away. It's the fear that if you let too much of yourself be seen by someone else or by other people, then they're not going to like you or whatever it is. It's kind of like that strangle, strangle, strangling, can't speak, <laughs> strangling feeling um, that a lot of times you get when you're trying to work on yourself too. But we still have several cards here to get through. What do you need to release with the wanting moon? Precisely that. What do you need to release? What is it about your situation? What it is? It, what is it about your life? What needs to go away? What pain are you holding on to? What are you hiding from that you need to run away? Or what? What are you hiding from that you shut off? Or whatever it is. Find that in order for it to be recognized. Oh, you have two of these. In order to be recognized and things like that too. So you ended up with two of these, actually. The first one is Autumn Leaves. Like the changing seasons, we too shed which no longer serves us. For energy shift, our energy shifts, and we must let the winds of change guide us to our potential. I love that because you also got the what do you need to release card. The next one is Portal. Living between the worlds, you are called to trust the universe and walk through a portal to discover your own intuitive abilities. So for some of you, that is definitely a call to wake up. It's definitely that call to recognize things within yourself, recognize your own abilities, but also potentially that could be what that hanged man is, that new perspective. Things are going to be changing and moving, momentum, things like that as well. But also, I feel a lot of this is going to be sharing more of yourself with someone or other people. It doesn't have to be a massive group of people. Not at all. It could just mean, you know, you are sharing more of your heart with that one special person or a couple of best friends that you kind of fell out with that you really want to rekindle things with. However it fits for your life. This is kind of a big section because there's four of these. Ooh, never gotten this card in a reading before. Details, details. This is a focus on the details in general, but also to understand you cannot focus on details 24-7, basically. If I flip this upside down, it says clarity here. Important, important notes. <laughs> so I feel like the details and things like that as well is outright going to be you focusing on so much all at once. But also it could be you needing to not focus on things quite so hard because sometimes when we overthink, when we overanalyze, then it can be a little bit more of a hindrance than an actual good thing. The next card you have is come together. Come together is definitely talking about the need, it's okay to ask for help type of situation. Sometimes too, we get so caught up in things that we don't ask for help. We don't accept the help from other people. We're kind of like, no, 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 no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Maybe that could also be that release. Maybe it's that feeling that you're kind of squashing yourself a little bit. Definitely that it's okay to ask for help mentality is going to be perfectly fine for you. The next one is the talisman. Talisman definitely pops up when you are needing to really focus on whatever it is that gives you power. So in a lot of cases, uh, people kind of don't really like certain aspects about themselves or things like that. Sometimes they can um, 
feel like certain things are kind of squashing them or whatever it is. But for you, I feel like the talisman is popping up because you're needing to find whatever it is, kind of like that, what do you need to release thing, but find your strengths, find what you're good at, understand what you're good at. Even if you feel like it's a really small list, you're still good at things. You really are. That way you're able to grow those things. And also too, if it's that moment of asking for help, whether that's in therapy or just by a close friend, however you need to do that, then maybe it's that asking your friend for help of what am I good at? And that's perfectly fine too. But like I said, it's that not cutting yourself off from other people so much. The next one you have is Magic Stream. This one pops up a lot of the time because you are needing to really focus on, I love how you got this in flow too, which is pretty great. So um, you're needing to focus on that energy flow, that energy um, that you're giving the energy that you're taking as well, because sometimes too, we kind of don't really um, understand how much energy we have been taking from other people, but also vice versa. I feel like most of this is going to be you shutting off other people because you are worried about how much energy that they're going to take from you or anything like that too. So I feel like the magic stream is going to pop into play of understanding your emotions, understanding your power flow, things like that too. That way you can stand strong within it and recognize with the six of wands, recognize the hard work that you have put in. The animal spirit watching over you is the dolphin spirit. This and that are true. So this and that are true. I feel like is going to be one of those things where it's kind of like a harsh lesson in some way. I love how there's a lot of water happening here. A lot of blues and green. So there's definitely a moment of, um, so this and that are true. I feel like it's like like one of those wake up calls. It's kind of like that, you know, blunt face with reality because sometimes too, it's like we focus on what we're bad at. We focus on the negative or whatever it is. And we kind of forget to remember the positive or sometimes too, that if we are you know, so focused on like, oh, I'm amazing at this. I'm amazing at that. You kind of get egotistical a little bit. It's kind of that knock that da- knock back down to reality of like this and this and this. Yes, you're good at, but also don't be a jerk towards other people too. The dolphin spirit definitely pops up into play when a lot of the times you're needing to really recognize um, that need to play. Like I said, that, that come together moment that, uh, you know, need to work with other people sometimes too. I'm not always a people person either, so sometimes I don't like hearing that even in my own readings, but sometimes too it's that need to recognize that ebb and that flow, give and take type of energy that comes up from people, the flow of energy basically. So I feel like the next coming month for you is definitely going to be a lot about recognizing the choices that you've made, people that have made around you, the people that you've kept around you, types of things reevaluate your situation and recognize that when you work well with other people, however you need to do that, then things are probably going to get a little bit easier too. Two of the affirmation cards that you can get, we have a three, two, one jump with number one. So I feel like this one is going to be pretty much a lot about like just that jump to reality, that jump to what it is you want to do, jump to however it is that you need to do something, basically. Um, This really does make me think of like the fool energy a little bit, even though you didn't get the fool card, but it does make you think a little bit about that, but also some with the hangman too, because you got that need for a new perspective. Things are changing up a little bit on you in this coming month. So then that three, two, one jump, It's kind of like that evolution of the decisions that you've been making. Next one we have is your words create worlds. So a lot of the time we get so hung up in a way on whatever it is that someone else is telling us that we don't recognize the own self-sabotage that we've also been putting ourselves through. So for... Uh, Some people, like I said, if you're feeling that need to hide for whatever reason, because people are jerks to you or however you look at that. Sometimes too, we also adopt these self-sabotaging behaviors. So 
if someone keeps calling you an idiot, unfortunately, you might start saying that too. So it's kind of breaking that cycle a little bit too. So focusing more on the positive, focusing more on the things that are uh, like that going to create that balance for you um, and working on that as well. So I feel like this is going to be a lot about recognizing uh, self-sabotaging behaviors within yourself and also working on anything that you personally need to work on in this coming month. The next one you have here is ground your light with let your soul shine. So I feel like for some of you, you're not really doing that. Some of you aren't letting your soul thrive and shine and, and be the biggest person or the biggest anything that you could possibly be. I feel like for some of you, you're kind of like, your light has been dwindling a little bit. And that's why you're being called to wake up a little bit more. Your spirit guides and ancestors, angels, however you want to look at that, are trying to let you know that things are happening. Things are growing, changing, and evolving in a good way because this is something that needs to happen for you specifically. But ground your light. I feel like this is something too with like that um, kind of goes in with that talisman. Like I said, find out what you're good at, things like that. The magic stream. I feel like that's kind of like a combination thereof and just that growth that I've got this, I can do this type of energy. The next one we have here is the infinite. Infinite wisdom, infinite growth, infinite charm, uh, infinite power, however you need this to fit. I feel like for a lot of people, they don't really understand their own power or they don't want to, however that is. And they kind of get a little nervous or a little scared because they're so used to someone telling them that they can't do something or whatever it is, but it's kind of like that hiding away. It's stepping into your own power. It's kind of high priestess energy a little bit. Stepping into your own power, strength, and ideas. That way you can bring those to light too. We have Snow White and her animal friends. You inspire trust and confidence. So I feel like that's also something too, is understanding where you come from as a person. Are you the type of person that's going to let someone walk all over you? Or are you the type of person who's going to stand up and fight for what you know is right? It's definitely a situation that a lot of people get upset because, you know, they feel like no one's listening to them or whatever it is. They kind of just ball up inside of themselves and then they stop talking. They stop sharing their ideas. This is definitely that thing. There are people that are listening to you. You have friends nearby that are trying to help you, whatever it is that you need help with. So you're definitely needing to recognize that as well. So we're going to be drawing from the Pocket Isis Oracle and seeing what group three has coming in for the next coming month. If there's anything specific. Okay. I'm trying to do two cards. One just fell out. Get the other one. There we go. Okay. Pick up the other one. Oh. Is that upside down? Yes, it is. <laughs> So here's the first one. This is the first one that fell out. It says, enter the, ugh, English, enter the chamber of healing. A spiritual gift of healing is coming to you now. Be open without explanation, expectation, or perceived, oh my goodness, without expectation or preconceived notions, and allow the healing energy to help you find the best solution for any situation that does not appear to be as it should be. Expect your miracle. That was horrible to read, but... Um, I feel like a lot of this is like it said that call to energy, that call to recognizing yourself, that approving energy that you're going to be getting, and also just like that that call for help type of situation. It's okay to ask for help, even if it's from your guides and close friends, things like that too. We have this one as well, the miracle of Isis. Isis offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, or no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound addiction problem relationship issue or inner struggle being part of it you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing let go and let the goddess be what do you need to release really does come down to that what is it that you're holding on to so badly but also is it really worth it is this something that's causing you pain? Is this something that's helping you? Or is this something that you need to let go of? Going to be rolling some letters and seeing what's going to be popping up. Okay. 
we have a few repeating numbers, actually, or letters rather. So there's two D's. Doo -doo -doo. There's three E's, which is actually surprising. There's a P, there's an I, there's a C. It's actually two C's and two I's. Interesting. Okay, so I see pi <laughs> right off the bat. So pi in terms of spirituality just makes me think of like a little bit different because nobody talks about, you know, have your pie and eat it too. Make your pie and eat it too. It's basically the cake analogy. But when it comes to pie, it's a little bit different. And honestly, who doesn't love pie? So it's kind of one of those things too where it's like, while I'm not telling you to bake a pie or anything like that, it's predominantly just like, there are things that need to change and grow and happen within your life. And sharing that within yourself and with other people is definitely something I feel you might need to do over the next coming month. The white dice, if you have never had any of uh, my readings or anything like that before, white dice is going to be something significant that needs to happen within your life. Something needs to kind of just be brought to light four, five, and six. So the progression really does make me think that something is happening because it's that change in growth evolution type of thing for you specifically. Kind of even with the stream, things keep flowing and growing, things like that as well. The black dice need to represent something or do represent something that's needing to change up in your life. It doesn't mean you need to dread that day, but it does mean that something is needing to happen a little differently. One, five, five. So at the time I'm filming this, of course, this could be the month of May coming up for you specifically. So potentially, since there is a five in both of them, May definitely just is significant, just the whole month at this point. The red dice and or orange, depending on how this shows up on your uh, screen, is going to be something predominantly relationship based. But this could also mean, you know, the time that you decide to love yourself a little bit more or something like that. I've had a... Uh, people's anniversaries roll before and things like that too so got two threes and a six okay so three it does make me think of like that that come together it's okay to ask for help because every time i see the three i think of the mind body spirit the connection the um you know all things happen for a reason type of situation and it also is like that it makes me think of the three of pentacles with it's okay to ask for help when you need it even if you don't need it or you don't want it it's okay to ask for help still it's perfectly fine that come together moment with the six it also does make me think of the six of pentacles too the balance the flow the energy things like that too which i also love because you did get flow you or chose flow rather as the card for you specifically and then with the lucky dice, this could be one number that ends up repeating for the, the whole month or anything like that too. Just depends on how you want to look at that. Okay, and that stayed on a one. Okay. So I feel like with the one, it's definitely gonna be talking about numero uno, what you need to do, what you need to change, what you need to work on specifically. I, what I, need to do what i need to change what is it that is going on in your life whether it's within you or around you or anything like that what is it that's not working that you have to change it's scary it's terrifying but your guides are on your side and they are trying to help you and give you hints signals and help as well but this is what i have for the cards i'm gonna say i'm gonna be doing the pendulum too Like I said, if there's a yes or no, maybe type of answer that you have, go ahead and just start thinking about it. And if there's anything that pops up specifically, let's see if I can, yeah, I can do that. Okay. What can group number three get in terms of answers the coming month? What is happening for their coming month? I'm trying to keep my finger out of frame. What can be happening for their coming month? Okay. 
So we have a no. So predominantly what that's making, and it's a gentle no, so it's kind of like that little like uh, nudge, basically. Whatever it is you're thinking, the it's probably not going to be as bad as you thought it was. But also with the situation too, you know, depending on the question that you had, again, this is collective, so it's probably not 100% for every single person. Your answer might have been a yes, but the collective could potentially have been a no. So it just depends on that. But also I feel a lot of you are, like I said, just like, so hung up on things not working that potentially you need to understand that things are going to work, grow, evolve. Things are happening. Things are changing. You're going to be okay. This is what I have for y'all group number three. And until next time, know yourself and know your power. Bye. Hey, group number four, if this is the one that you chose based on the number nine or completion, the word, the phrase, uh, the picture, however it is you need to look at that, this is going to be your month ahead type of forecast. So at the time I'm filming this, this is going to be uh, technically for the month of May, but I'm going to leave it open to the general public basically. So if it's uh, August when you're watching this and it's September, then so be it. But I want to explain this one a little bit. So with the completion and everything, I feel like this is going to be like that, you know, uh, things are happening full circle, things like that as well. That does make me think of karmic cycles a little bit too. So potentially that as well. Um, I am going to be drawing from another Oracle deck at the very end of the reading, the dice as usual, and then a pendulum too. So we'll see what you have for that as well. So the first card that we have is the nine of cups. Nine of cups pops into play a lot of the time because you are uh, kind of getting your wishes, dreams, come true essentially whatever it is that you've been wishing and dreaming about is happening the next one we have is the chariots things that you've been wishing dreaming and hoping for is happening and is going to be happening fairly quickly as well oops <laughs> the next one we have is the five of pentacles a lot of times the five of pentacles is because we're not really all that confident with things and sometimes as well the five of pentacles happens because things haven't been um too very exciting we see this in kind of droopy rose here so but a lot of the times it's that need to understand that things will get better things like that as well sometimes you might be walking around in a bit of a daze and not really focusing on other things as well the next one is the wheel of fortune definitely popping up in terms of you know, things happening, things moving, things changing, everything like that as well. And the last one is the Daughter of Wands. For this card deck, it is actually the Page of Wands. So I feel a lot of what's happening for you is that growth and change, but it's also going to scare the hell out of you because the Chariot pops up and the Chariot is fearless. I think that the Chariot is kind of the combination of all of the Knights. All of the knights are fearless. They just drive head forward sometimes. And then with the chariot, it's kind of basically the same thing. Like, all right, here we go. Which is always interesting, right? So the next card that you have is be bold and make the first move with the cardinal moon. So I feel being bold and making the first move is actually something that some of you are being a little afraid to do. Some of you aren't that confident in your decision-making process, which is going to be a little bit of a bite because you guys are needing to do that. That's that decision-making process that your guides and your ancestors are like, yo, you've got this, you're okay, things are good type of situation. Especially with the Daughter of Wands, kind of like that analytical side a little bit, but also like knowing what you're good at, growing with that and things too. So it's kind of like that, kind of analyzing yourself a little bit in some way too. You have the sacred tree. Take advice from a wise old tree and build yourself strong with a good foundation. Rebuild your sacred space. Build it with power. I love that. Especially because I feel like a lot of you are not quite, like I said, in that confidence headspace of, oh, I could totally do this and I could do this. And some of you aren't doing that. <laughs> some of you are not making those same decisions. Some of you are not confident in your decision making process and so this completion that's happening over the next coming month is going to be your guides saying you've got this they're gonna not necessarily hold your hand but they're probably gonna kick you in the butt to make you go forward too the next one we have is ghost land 17 
Ghostlands is making me think of like that thing of leaving something behind. Something is no longer working for you, something is no longer needed there, whatever that is, kind of a little bit like the death card similarly. And I do love it, especially because you did get the five, like I said, that kind of like overlooking things and not really seeing the full picture sometimes. The next one we have is the golden palace. Rebuild your golden palace, build your sacred space, things like that as well. Find your golden palace, whether that is with a specific person or whatever that is. I feel like it's going to be a moment of really growing into yourself a little bit more. Like I said, definitely a decision-making process. I'm noticing so much with all of these readings. <laughs> definitely a common message of things are happening, things are moving, things are changing, get over it. But the next one is Deep Freeze. Deep Freeze is talking about why are you frozen? Why are you stuck? What is it about your situation, your current life situation, whatever it is? What about is making you stuck? Is there a way to unfreeze yourself as well? Can you fix it? If it's a situation where you cannot freeze, maybe that's what needs to be left behind or unfreeze rather. The next one we have is Unexpected Visitors. Unexpected Visitors is definitely talking as kind of like Alice in Wonderland a little bit kind of about the um for this situation specifically whoops for this specifically it could be talking about you know the uh if you're moving or whatever or not then it could just be people popping up kind of just out of the blue if you're not moving then maybe it's a situation where the unexpected visitors are you know your guides or anybody like that that are like hey I'm popping in right now to let you know that this is what needs to go down, basically. I love the Unexpected Visitors one because it definitely talks about that whole, um, you know, things are just spontaneous. And it's also a need for spontaneity as well. The next, uh, or well, the spirit that's watching over you is the brown bear spirit with take time out. Take a nap. <laughs> take a bear nap. Take a nap. Do things for you. Understand that the reason you are doing these things for you is because you need to do them. Whatever that needs to pertain to your life specifically. A lot of times we get so hung up on whatever it is that we're doing or whatever it is that we can't do or whatever that we're so stuck. We're kind of frozen. We're in that deep freeze moment. Like I said, release things that need to happen. Release things that need to be let go of. I feel like with the brown bear spirit as well, the take time out to appreciate what you have accomplished, take time out to appreciate the little fun things in life or the finer things in life or whatever it is, even if it's not something super expensive or dramatic or anything like that. If it makes you happy, then that's all that matters in this situation. It really is. the two affirmations you have wanted universe creators cells organs body species planet solar system galaxy so i feel like it's definitely a lot about that um change things like that as well universe creators create your universe what is it about you specifically that just makes your universe amazing your world your situation create the world you want to live in even if it's not specifically the actual planet create a world within like your home your your love your golden palace like create that which you want to live in your next one is your 111 year old self so 111 being kind of like that starting point basically that whole like you've got it you can do this type of mentality and attitude so I feel like that's also popping into play of take care of yourself take care of what it is that you want take care of who you want to be and your people around you as well because that also pops into play of you can kind of like you know it's you know, we only have one planet true you only have one you you have one life, you have one situation. If you want to eat the donut, then damn it, eat the donut. I don't think that really matters, but also at the end of the day, take care of yourself too, whether that's mentally or physically, emotionally, um, surrounding yourself with people that make you happy. We have this, you know, the chariot, the nine of cups and the wheel of fortune. Things are happening. Things are, things are just happening for you. 
that's just <laughs> that's the one thing even when I was picking up the cards like things are happening for you and that's not a bad thing there's definitely things that you need to leave behind there but there's definitely way more that's going to be ahead of you the next one is between worlds new directions so I feel like this is a little bit about that uh, call to energy within uh, yourself your universe things like that your uh, spirit guides are kind of like hey I'm here I want to help you type of situation too I love this card fire Solaris sublime so um, talking about like the um, uh, solar plexus there we go for your chakras and it's one of those things too that when it comes down to it like that fiery energy is there some of you it might be thrown out of whack because there is a lot of yellow happening in here so for some of you that could be what's thrown out of whack or for some of you you need to focus on your solar plexus this coming month because it is out of whack and you're needing to kind of change that up a little bit um learn where that is you can fix it basically i feel like for a lot of you that is definitely that um reason that so much yellow is happening here is because a lot of that is that taking care of yourself and things like that too maybe that's why is like i said even though you eat the donut if you want to eat the donut but also like pay attention to your diet is that the reason that things are out of whack research what it is that you can help not necessarily align your chakras but just to help yourself if you want to learn more about chakras then by all means go right ahead maybe that is something that can help everything kind of come full circle too your last one is the kitsun. I will show you whom to trust. So like I was saying, like with that, who in your life do you want to keep, basically? Who in your life is bringing about good things? Who in your life is really showing you that they are there for you as well? Um, that also comes down to taking care of yourself too, is surrounding yourself with like-minded people. So then I'm going to be drawing the, or drawing from, the Pocket Isis Oracle and seeing what, whoops, that was quick, what group number four can get for extra guidance here. I'm going to draw two cards and I draw one. I draw Drew one. Wow, goodness. Get one more card for group number four, pretty please. Pretty please. Beautiful. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that fell out. And you know what? I'm going to read them because they all, for some reason, just flew out. So I really want to read all of them, actually, because there's a lot of reasoning why, why certain cards fall out. And usually if it's not the entire deck, then I have no reason or have no qualms about reading it. So Pillar of Light looks like this pillar of light burning bright earth star below soul star above burn away all that not, is not light transform all into unconditional love star of isis descend your blessing and peace without end grace me now with peace and protection completely embraced by divine protection so or perfection excuse me so i feel like this is definitely talking about like that again yellow what is it that is keeping you safe what is it that makes you happy things like that as well the healing the dark healing chamber looks like this the most challenging task is to take courage in both hands and journey within to meet our own dark self and begin the healing task of bringing love acceptance and light to it the sacred purpose of any enemy within or without is to push us to venture inwards to seek and heal the darkness within and it's yellow again whoops so I feel like that's definitely going to be a lot about, like I said, that journey to yourself, journey to self-acceptance, things like that as well. Lady of the Stars, looks like this. Sirius is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom at an extremely high vibration. She brings deep soul awakening, spiritual gifts, and a high capacity for divine service. She asks you to pay attention now because something significant is taking place at a spiritual level for you at this time. So I feel like what's popping up for you this month, like I said, is that your guide's coming to you and showing you that things are going to be okay, but also what things are not okay and where to change them. But I feel like a lot more love is going to be popping into your life in the next month as well. Pyramid of Light, Psychic Protection. Looks like that. 
As a being of light, darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress. There is nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of the divine love to experience. The Pyramid of Light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is now time for that interference to cease completely through loving divine power. So I feel like a lot of you are in that headspace of needing to feel more love and therefore that's what your guides are going to be doing is giving you exactly that. And the last one, past life, present power. Looks like this. As a soul grows in service to the great feminine and her intention that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist on the path. These resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities. Be open to what is taking place as your soul awakens ancient power and abilities in you. So I feel like this is kind of like that, like that kids you know a little bit with between the world, things like that. There's a reason that a lot of these things feel uncomfortable. And I feel like the reason for that is because you're kind of, like I said, coming full circle. I said that at the beginning of the, of the uh, reading is that full circle. Things are coming. You're kind of waking up. Things are happening, changing, growing for a very specific reason. And, of course, with the letters and seeing what we can get. This could be acronyms or anything letter wise so there's two E's I think these are the only repeating numbers there's an H there's a T S I so I see then right off the bat we then so then makes me think of then what and then these types of situations because what then did you do are you moving towards what you want are you moving towards the life that you want or are you trying to sit there and compensate all the time for this one person or these one specific people that aren't really doing things in your best interest what is it about your situation that's making you stay and is it worth it so then here with the white dice if you've never had a reading from me or anything like that then the white dice are going to represent something significant good good luck type of situation things that are just happening because it needs to happen could be a date repeating number we got one two and then a six Oops, missing one. There you are. These black dice represent something that's just not working for you. Something isn't happening. Something that needs to change, essentially. Four, four, six. I thought it was four, four, four for a second. <laughs> so we've got two fours and a six. Six is definitely playing a part. Six makes me think of the balance number of six, six of pentacles in terms of tarot because it's talking about that balance energy, the give and the take. The teacher teaches, the student learns, but the student can also teach the teacher as well. And then with these red dice, even though they potentially look orange on camera, are going to be something predominantly more romance-based, but sometimes they can also represent when you start to love yourself a little bit more too. I've also rolled people's anniversaries. All right, so we got two, three, and then five. So we broke that six cycle. But there's definitely that whole part, like the five in terms of when I'm filming this, five is representative of May. So that could definitely be something to potentially as well, is that just May into June is gonna be this making choices and decisions for you. So then here, lucky dice, gonna be seeing what pops up for you. Could be a, a number that ends up repeating itself or anything like that. Very curious on what this one lands on too. Okay, so then that one landed on the four. The four does make me think of that, this sacred tree card with that, um, 
need to build the foundation, things like that. Things are happening, things are changing. Even with the Golden Palace, like I said, with that build the home that you want to live in, that type of situation too. Um, if it's a situation that you need to move to build your new home or just need to change up, even if it's just throwing out that couch that you absolutely hate in order to bring in a completely different piece of furniture or something like that. Just change up your environment if it's not working for you. And then of course with the pendulum as well, seeing what pops up for you guys. Oops. If there's anything that you can think of, anything that you're wishing for, dreaming, desiring, what can we get for group number four as a collective answer? Just go ahead and think about whatever it is that you're kind of concerned about or anything. This is collective, so it's going to go based on most people. The dominant answer, the dominant number type of thing. And this always takes a second sometimes. It's going really good. Okay. So I ended up swinging towards a definite no. And I feel like the reason for that is because that, again, collective. So it could be for you specifically, or it could be um, for someone else watching or whatever. But I feel the reason it was a definite no is because for some of you, you had something along the lines of like, you know, am I going to fail? Is this not going to work? Is that not going to work type of situation? And it's a no, because while it may not work exactly how you thought it planned out or you had it planned in your head, whatever, a lot of the times it's because it needed to work in a completely different way. Things are going to work the same way. They might have a slightly different outcome, but the same situation is going to work in a completely different way that matches what you need to, to do at that specific time. I feel like a lot of this is going to be building yourself up and creating what it is that you need to create, what you want to create, who you need to create, that type of situation as well. But group number four, this is what I have for your monthly ahead. And until next time, you guys, know yourself and know your power.